It's time for local talk here on Next Door Radio, nextdoorradio.com, and the Next Door Radio app. And welcome to Local Talk right here on Next Door Radio, nextdoorradio.com, and the Next Door Radio app. This is our special programming for our decision 2022 here on Next Door. East Sykes George is here. He is candidate for NC Senate District 18. Joins me here by way of our studio. If you have missed this program, you can head over to our website at nextdoorradio.com. Go under the Program and Recordings tab. Everything that we have done can be right there by way of video and audio. Mr. E.C., how are you today, my friend? Oh, we're doing really well. Thanks for having us in, Trey. Absolutely. Welcome to the studio here in Oxford in downtown. Beautiful Oxford, should I say. Yes. Um, but before we kind of dive deep into why you decided to run now, yeah. uh, let's really do a quick 30-second infomercial on who Mr. East Sykes is. Well, sure. Uh, born and grew up in Durham. To, uh, you know, father's a policeman there, and actually my younger brother uh, is a retired policeman as well. Went to North Carolina State and is an electrical engineer. We graduated from there and then got my master's. It's called an MSM, Master's in Management from there, which is really kind of an MBA for geeks. Um, Love how you say that. <laughs> and, you know, in, in time, we've, you know, moved from doing engineering work into more management stuff, had opportunity to um, lead a couple of companies, public and private. Um, the largest was uh, Fortune 500, where I was on the executive team. And, it, and, and my role had 35,000 people and managed 20 countries um, that was there. And um, North Carolina's home for us. We've been here for 300 years on both sides of our family. And so wow. we just we just love Love the state and love to call it home. This is like George is here by way of our in studio, by way of video and audio here this afternoon. EC Sykes, he is the NC or candidate for NC Senate District 18. Uh, so why did you decide to run now, my friend? Why, uh, with everything going on between the COVID now, of course, the business side, I know it, I don't know if it hits you hard like a lot of the local businesses, but um, why did you decide to, to run now for NC Senate? Yeah. You know, one is it's a privilege that we have to, to stand up and, and run. Um, you know, a lot of people you know, parse it out different ways. Um, the, the race for us is important. Look, we see a lot of changes happening in North Carolina. And not all those changes are good. Change is good. We need to continue to grow. We need to continue to get better. Um, but not all of them that are happening here are actually moving forward in the right direction. And so when I think about it, those are really two things that kind of motivated us on the change side that we wanted to participate in. One is we think that we need to continue to grow in the state. I've had fantastic opportunities offered to to me um, because of the nature of the state. But that's really based upon the values that are here. And like I said, we've been, my family's been here for many years. We grew up in North Carolina. We understand North Carolina values. We think those are biblical, Judeo-Christian values. And the growth that we have here in North Carolina needs to be based upon um, that growth that's there. And as we go through some decisions here in North Carolina, we want to participate in making our state better through the lens of those Judeo-Christian values that are there. And, and secondly, look, we've, we've done well here in North Carolina. The state has offered us great opportunities. And we just think that we need to be able to have the next generations to have the same level of opportunities mm-hmm. here that, we had. And so we've been blessed um, with some success. We want to give back. We've done that in the past. This is a different way mm-hmm. for us to do that. Um, but we look forward to continue to, to give back the blessings that we've been given. East is Isaac George here. He is candidate for NC Senate District 18. Joins us by way of our local talk and our decision 2022. My name is Trace Knott, a part of Next Door Radio. So uh, You've been married for a long time. I'm going to ask you some advice about being married so long because we just celebrated my eighth anniversary, me and my wife. So I'm going to ask you a few questions off air. Um, <laughs> but uh, you're you're a family man. Based, you have a great website here, of course, ec4nc.com. You can find some more information about everything that we're talking about here today. Um, but your background in business, again, you've been you've run companies across the the country, across you, know, you said uh, the country wise. Uh, how do you feel like that will kind of lead you in the right direction moving forward? Yeah, look, continued economic growth in North Carolina is important, you know, um, and having somebody that's had experience. And it, look, I haven't, you know, just like read the book. I mean, we've lived tough times. I've been through the Great Recession. You know, we went through on um, the recessions in two thousand three. We've been through tough times since there. 
Uh, and we've been through times that are prosperous times for us. And having that experience, practical, earned experience, I think puts us in a position that we can help you know, make North Carolina, continue to make North Carolina an attractive place for people to, to grow, right? Financially here, for job growth is here, to continue to have new and better opportunities. And so my, my business experience is very applied um, um, at that point. And you're right, it's been global. Right. I've had the opportunity to run a small company that's here in North Carolina. We've had you know, global responsibilities as well. I've got a company now. I'm still a small business owner. Um, and so we know what it's like to run small business. We know what it's like to, to have both. And so when companies here are thinking about growing or when companies from the outside are thinking about coming into North Carolina, I'm comfortable setting with Fortune 50 CEOs, we've done that before, and help them understand why North Carolina is the place that they'd want to locate their operation. So, with with that background, uh, and you have the opportunity, if you have the opportunity to become the next NC Senate for District 18, uh, what would you like to see done, and in, in the 30, 60 days of your first 30, 60 days in office? Right, and so this, from a get it done standpoint, look, we've got some. Let, we're legislation that's burdensome to the companies that are here. We need to pull that back. Our government's just gotten to be too large. It's intrusive to our companies that are trying to grow. It's intrusive to our families and our churches and others. And so I'm in favor of let's bring that government back inside the package that it is and make it easier to do business here in North Carolina. And it's that experience I've had as a business leader, coupled now with the ability to make change there, that I think will really be able to help um, the companies here. So this is not your your first time being in office, uh, is that correct? You've you've ran for a few other adventures, is that in my? Well, thinking? it'll be my first time to be in an office. Okay, I did run in twenty twenty, and I was a nominee for secretary mm-hmm. of state, and um and and I chose that office because it's the one that best uses my business mm-hmm. background. So when I thought about giving back to North Carolina, there's no other office that gives you as much opportunity when you think about the council of state like the Secretary of State's office did. We were pleased to get that nomination um, that's there. And, to, and and I'll tell you, some words of advice from a, from a guy who's an outsider, not a politician, trying to figure out how to do it. Don't let your first campaign be a statewide campaign. That Start off a little, a little smaller bite <laughs> than that. And don't run against probably the most difficult person in North Carolina to beat. When you run against a 24-year incumbent, you've got a high heel. So we did well. We're pleased with the progress we made. We we had a narrow loss um, that's there. Learned a lot, made a gr- lot of great friends, and actually, right, that campaign positioned us for this one. And one and looking backwards, one of the things we learned is if we have not have run, um, the North Carolina caucus would not been a, been aware that an outsider and a businessman was willing to stand up and run. Mm. If I had won. I would not have been in the position that we had to serve in a, in the role that probably has more influence on policy than the prior. So, you know, looking back, we get it um, a little bit, but it's probably not the the easiest step into the political. Arena. Well, and like we mentioned off air, being a being a politician is not a an easy thing to do. You you take a lot of the headlines, you take a lot of the backlash. Um, and so I, I applaud you for, for after running for there, stepping up and wanting to give back to the community. So I, I applaud you there. Well, yeah, and that's an important. That's, I often speak about it. Look, our, our political campaigning process is nasty. Everybody knows it. That is what it is. It's a shame that it's that way. Um, people's reputations get distorted, destroyed, Um Intellectually, you know it going into it, um, but it's still not fun when you go through the process. But here's my concern. Because everybody knows it, good people don't want to stand up to run to serve because of the distortion and and all the junk that goes along with it. And I'm concerned that the best people sit on the sidelines because the process has just gotten out of control. We need to do something so that we give the people information to make great decisions and take this the, the lies and deceit out there away. He's just like George is here by way of uh, in the studio. He is candidate for NC Senate District 18. 
So anything, and we like to finish these really platforms and these programs to open up the floor last couple minutes to anything that we have not discussed, anything that you have on your mind that you've been asked before that you want to kind of get open. Uh, but these last couple minutes, are the floor is open, my friend. Sure. So my, uh, I am an, an outsider. Right? There's nobody in my family history that's ever run for office that we know. So that's 300 years of non-politicians. Wow. And so um, this is a different area for me. And I'm a business leader. So I'm an outsider. Christian businessman that's stepping up to run. There are three things we'd like to see accomplished. The, the, the first of those is we're pleased that North Carolina has dropped its tax rate on families, and there's more room to go there. And so we look forward to being able to take out waste and to help drop the tax rate. As we take out waste and as we work to reduce the burden on families and on companies, let's make our government smaller. Right? It's gotten too large. It's out of control. Number two, let's bring the government in. And number three is, look, our children deserve a better education system than what they currently have. And so um, and so our children deserve a better education system than what they currently have. And so we need to go back and, and work on our schools. We need to get them back performing. If I was a business leader... Looking at the metrics of our school system, we would say, man, this is broken. We need to get, we need to make some serious changes. I think we need to make some serious changes in our education system. Mr. E.C. Sykes, he's candidate for NC Senate District 18. God bless you, my friend. Thank you for joining me here in a part of our local talk and our decision in 2022. How can our listeners find some more information about you, website, phone number, anything that you can give? Yeah. So our website is EC for NC, ECFORNC.com, and you can send emails there, info at ECFORNC.com. I get those, and we'd love to have contact there. My personal cell phone number is 919-858-6300. Call me. If you have any questions, need some clarification on some things, we're here to serve you. We look forward to this conversation. Mr. AC, thank you so much. I appreciate you joining here in studio, part of our Decision 2022 and our local talk program on Next Door. Good luck the rest of the way. Again, early voting is right literally next week. week. So uh, good luck the rest of the way, okay? God bless you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Again, my name is Trace Knight. This is Local Talk on Next Door Radio, nextdoorradio.com, and the Next Door Radio app. We'll see you later.